you should probably hit lighter weights in the gym. So did I four months ago. Like, let me explain. This is what, how it works. A lot of people, I see a lot of these like bullshit fitness YouTubers. And they will literally tell you to hit heavy weights, low reps. And they say you will grow muscle because of it. No, 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 no. Listen to me. You will grow strength because of it. Yes. But you, will you grow muscle? No. Will you grow fast? No. Because you need high hypertrophy. You need that. And how do you get that? Higher reps, lower weights, slower reps. Let's explain how it works. You see all these fitness YouTubers hitting 130 kg bench press. Uh, uh, three times and then they're done. And they say they will grow the chest because of it. Probably take steroids, most of them. No, that's that's not that easy. You want to know how to really grow? Hit a bench press 50 kg 15 times. 15 repetitions, 50 kg bench press. Yeah? Or any weight that you can properly put up at the end. So you will go literally, you need to go like this on your last rep. It has to look like this, otherwise you're not going to failure. And you're not getting hypertrophy. You need to make the faces as well. Like, if you're really struggling, you gotta start making those faces. Then you know you're actually working towards failure. And what, what does working towards failure do? It breaks down the muscle. What happens when you break down muscle? It will regrow when you sleep, eat, and it will become bigger. If you're doing three reps of like high kg, yeah, you can do the high kg for three reps, but you're not growing as much. You're not destroying your muscle as much. As much, so you must do do stuff to grow back as much or even more. So why do these YouTubers do this? Yeah, they put it in the title how to grow fast, and they put a guide up how to grow fast, bench press, high kg, six reps, six to eight rep range. They will go leg press, six reps, squat, six reps, deadlift, three reps. Like if you want pure powerlifting, that's perfect. That's like the perfect guide for you. You should follow it. But if you're going for getting big the aesthetic muscular physique that you want yeah the aesthetic one so the v taper being low body fat don't go for a powerlifting road go for a bodyboarding road so bodyboarding road would look something like this i'm gonna make a guide soon i'm busy with it so a bodyboarding workout let's say for chest would look like this bench let's let's just say you can do bench 70 kg or something yeah 50 kg 12 to 15 rep range three sets then you would go incline dumbbell press, yeah? And you would go like, I don't know, 14 to 18 kg dumbbells. And you would go 15 reps, 4 sets of incline dumbbell press, last one till failure. And you would repeat that cycle. So what happens is when you start doing the, all your exercises you're doing now, with higher rep, lower weight, slower down, and try to go as, up as fast as as you can. What happens is you start breaking down way more muscle. When you break down way more muscle, you start growing way more muscle. I have noticed it. I, I will put a, like a chart next to me somewhere around the video with me being small from like a, a year a year ago, like two pictures, year apart, almost no difference. And I will put the picture like three months from then. And then you would see how much bigger I've gotten when I started implementing bodybuilding like actual bodybuilding exercise you will see the difference you will literally see the difference in how fast you grow if you truly want to grow as fast as humanly possible and that's like in years it still takes years okay you can't grow a static physique in three months that's not possible even if a fitness youtuber tells you it's possible it's not possible okay just follow up on this i know a lot of people will just click away from this video now because they thought it was gonna be how to build up muscle fast. You have to do this, 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 this. No, it's not that easy, okay? So, when you want to build a physique as fast as possible, and possible, humanly possible, to get big and uh, to get like the V taper, you need to eat properly, high protein, high calorie, lower fats and carbs, lower fats and carbs. You can still eat those, but they need to be lower than your protein intake and your healthy healthy calorie intake you need to start actually bodybuilding so you need to actually start doing lower lower weights higher reps slower reps and a few uh, sets with failure so you would literally go to failure till you can no more that's how that's literally the guidance book to building a great and like perfect physique for yourself because you, you will never have a perfect physique but you will be going towards the 
the perfect physique of like a Greek god or something, you know. You would go towards that because you're doing the right things. That's literally the guidance book. It's that easy. So let me explain. Listen, there's a lot of bullshit fitness YouTubers out there. Yeah, I want to be one of the YouTubers that gives you the correct advice. I will try to give as much advice about fitness as I can. And especially for men since uh, for women's fitness, it's still the same, but like a different things apply because of testosterone and shit, how fast things go and how fast you grow and how much you should eat as well like that. Eating uh, a diet guide for a man is way different than from a woman. So never trust the people that say, oh, I, I use that diet guide from like a man that made it for a man because that doesn't work like that. So what is really important with this and why I'm telling you this is a lot of fitness YouTubers do the BS thing of saying, yeah, you can just eat ice cream every day and do these power lifting moves and uh, only compound movements and you will grow huge, you know. That's not how that shit works. You can't only rely on eating ice cream because that's really bad. You feel bad. You can't hit as much PRs because it does give you energy. Let's say you have a thousand calories of ice cream and a thousand calories of chicken rice. Your chicken rice will be way more powerful. You would feel way more powerful be hitting these PRs like easy, you know. When with ice cream, Fuck, I can't hit the PR. Th that's why, by the way. Secondly, they tell you to do compound movements only and like low rep, high weights, get as much weight in as you can possibly can. You fuck up your form first of all, because like a lot of people fuck up the form when they're doing way too high weights. Secondly, you're not growing, you're only getting stronger. And although they're really relying on each other, growing, uh, getting stronger and really connected, they're still different in how you train and how you progress because when you're growing you need to do different types of things so what what i like recommend when growing do compound movements of course like bench press squat deadlift are amazing i root deadlift out for myself in my training because i don't li really like to do it because i think it's ego most of the time but like i squat and i bench those are compound movements i still do them to this day because they're really amazing movements but i add a lot of other things like incline dumb dumbbell press, flies, I use leg press, I use cow seated calf raises because a lot of people don't train calves of course. I use like hamstring curls. So all these type of things will help you grow as long as you do them in the high rep range. Because high rep range, like the rep range between 10 and 15 is the best rep range you have. You need to go till you almost can't no more because a lot of people don't push themselves. So what I recommend, I got this from another really good YouTuber. He is literally the YouTuber you should also go also go to if you want really good fitness advice. He's the only one that I, I can truly trust and you probably can truly trust as well. Just like me, you can truly trust me what I'm saying. He is uh, called Hamza. I got this idea from him and it works perfectly and I want to spread that message. Do one day, you uh, if you go to the gym like three to four days a week, then it's amazing, you can just waste one day, it's not that bad. And you would do everything one set, yeah? Like bench press one set, incline dumbbell press one set. And what you would do is literally when you're like this, yeah, at your, le uh, at your supposedly last rep, you're like, I, I have one more set, I can't waste this opportunity. And you would go again. And you would try to get it up like one inch at a time, one millimeter at a time. I have one more set, I need to go again. And you would literally go to a failure, your true failure. A lot of people think they go to failure, they're not. So what is really important, go to real failure. Try to really fail that day. Literally just keep telling yourself, one, one set, one set, one set. And when you're literally going millimeters up, you're still going down as slow as possible. And you're going for that last one. And when you really can't anymore because of form, then you stop. Then you go to the next exercise, do the same. Learn yourself your true failure point and then go on with your normal workouts because it's gonna be way more effective and you're gonna have way higher hypertrophy which means you get way more done in a gym day. Like you need to make these phases, you know, like when back in the day Arnold Schwarzenegger is like this, he's making those phases. You should be doing that too because a workout from him will probably be 100 times more effective than ours. And we would take like one and a half hours, he would take one hour. Even a half hour will probably be way better than ours. So that that's literally point three. So try to do that. And one last thing is try to stop using your phone in the gym. Try to stop scrolling on TikTok and Instagram or something on the gym because you're wasting time. 
and you're wasting your potential. You're saying you're resting, but you're resting for literally three minutes because you're on your phone and you forget that. Oh, oh shit, I need to do my set. Stop doing that. That's a waste of gains and a waste of times. So try to go for high hypertrophy, high reps, slow reps, and try to actually win from all the other people. Go to the gym, work hard every day, be proud of yourself, and I will see you later.